Okay, now that the module is back up, we can now go to the web interface. So we'll go to the IP address. And we are presented with the login screen. The login for this is going to be what we set up on the initial configuration. So it was admin and Cisco. And we'll hit login. And from here, we will use the run initialization wizard. Now, here's one of the hangups that I had. What you want to do here is enter the call manager express login information, and it should import the information. So we used uh, voicemail for the username and Cisco earlier in this video. So we'll hit next. And notice, no users found. Well, this is another thing that was missing from the book. And what I found out is on all of your e-phones, let's bring up, uh, on, on all of your e-phones, what you need to do is add a username and password or it won't detect it as um, a user. So what we'll do is... Uh, We'll go to each ePhone. There's four of them. So we'll go config T and we'll say ePhone 1. And we'll say username and we'll just say phone 1. Password 1234. And we'll do this for each ePhone. We'll just call this one phone 2. and so on and so forth. We'll do one more here. So, once you enter that information, like I say, again, this is not in the CCNA book, but once you do that, then you can hit Next, and now it finds these extensions as a valid um, user. So, uh, from this point, what we can do is we can select the phones we want to use, um, we can assign the mailboxes and automatically set the call forward no answer and call forward busy options for the voicemail. Um, we'll, we'll give this uh, 1002 and 3. Now we click on next. And here we can tell it to generate a random password, random PIN. Uh, the password is for the, log for the individual user to log into the Uni Express web page here. And the PIN is for their, uh, I guess what you call it, TUI, uh, where you log in from the phone. And here you can set you know, the max mailbox size, the maximum length, uh, let's say like two minutes, and uh, how long they expire. And then you choose Next. Then from here we can enter what the voicemail number is going to be. Now noticing here, I'll bet you I know what I did. Um, notice how it doesn't have anything here. Uh, you guys probably caught it earlier. Um, but let's just take a quick look. We'll do a show run section ePhone DN. And we use 10 and 11, right? Yeah, so I only have 10. Um, when I was trying to make two of them, I accidentally we want this one to be MW message weight indicator on and then um, we want EFO DN 11 off and of right so we'll say number 1552 There, that should fix the other issue. Let's just go back here a second. Okay, so now it automatically detects the 1551 and 1552. So then we can say the voicemail number, we'll just say 5001, um, operator extension is 1001, um, 
the auto attendant access number say 5012 and 5013 will be the administration and here's where you can use the subscribe notify that's usually what I use but you can also use these DN options and notice it automatically found it so we just hit next verify the information you know it has four users everything looks good so we'll say save to startup configuration and click finish so it's saving the startup configuration and once it's complete there it has the random uh, passwords and the pins then you log out and that's pretty much it so hope this has been informative and good luck with your studies